morning. How are you doing? In the previous lecture, we discussed several topics related to carbohydrate uh, metabolism, including uh, glycolysis. Now we'll continue the lecture on carbohydrate metabolism. Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle known as TCA or citric acid cycle. Krebs comes from Hans Krebs, who was discovered this Krebs cycle. Let's see this pyruvate oxidation. In glycolysis pathway, as we have already discussed before, we see that glucose compared to acetyl CoA, but before that, glucose compared to pyruvate. A carbonyl group is SNP of pyruvate and released as molecule of carbon dioxide leaving behind a two molecule of carbon. The two carbon molecule from step one is oxidized and the electron loss in the oxidation are picked up by NAD plus to form NADH. Then an acyl group is transferred to coenzyme A resulting in acetyl CoA. Now let have a look Krebs cycle pathway. This cycle is a closed loop and include a major step. The cycle produces NADH, APDH2, ATP or a GTP and release carbon dioxide. Let's see this a diagram. We start from the upper side, acetyl CoA. The first step is condensation step, combining two carbon acetyl group with a four carbon oxaloacetate molecule to form a six carbon molecule of citrate. CoA is bound to a sulfonyl group and diffuse away to eventually combine with another acetyl group. This step is irreversible because it is highly exergonic. The rate of the reaction is controlled by a negative feedback and the amount of ATP available. If the ATP level increase, the rate of reaction uh, decrease. If ATP is in a short supply, then the rate will be increased. Let's move uh, to next step. Citra lose one molecule of water and gain another as citra is compared to into its isomer isocitrate. In step 3, isocitrate is oxidized, producing a 5-carbon molecule, a ketoglutarate, together with a molecule of carbon dioxide and the electron with reduced NAD plus to NADH. This step is also regulated by negative feedback from ATP and ADH and by a positive effect of ADP. Step 3 and 4 are both oxidation and decarboxylation step, which release electron that reduce NAD plus to NADH and release carbonyl group to form carbon dioxide molecule. Alpha ketoglutarate is the product of step 4. CoA binds to succinyl group 
is the product of step four. Koe bantu succinyl Koe. The enzyme that catalyzes step four is regulated by feedback inhibition of ATP, a succinyl Koe, and an ADH. And then the next step is a postpart group is substituted for coenzyme A and a high energy bond is formed. The enzyme is used in substrat lepers postporylation to form either guanine tripospat, or we call that one as a GTP or ATP. There are two forms of enzyme called isoenzyme for this step, depending on the type of animal tissue in which they are found. One form is found in tissue that use the amount of ATP, such as heart and a skeletal muscle. This form produce ATP. The second form of the energy is found in tissue that have a high number of anabolic pathways, such as labor. This form produces a GTP. A GTP is energetically equivalent to ATP. However, its use is more restricted. In particular, protein synthesis primary use a GTP. Then, step six is dehydration process to convert succinate into a fumarate. Two hydrogen atoms are transferred to FAD, producing FADH. The energy content in the electron of this atom is insufficient to reduce energy plus, but inadequate to reduce FAD. Unlike energy H, this carrier remain attached to enzyme and transfer the electron to the electron transfer chain directly. This process is made possible by the localization of the enzyme catalyzing the step inside the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Then water is added to fumarate during step 7 and malat is produced. The last step in the citric acid cycle regenerate oxaloacetate by oxidizing a uh, malad. Now let's move uh, to pentose phosphate pathway. Pentose phosphate pathway takes place in the cytosol of the cell, and this pathway is the alternative branch of a glycolysis and no ATP is used or uh, produced. And as the endpoint of this uh, pathway is ribose pass phosphate sugar to make a DNA and RNA, carbon dioxide and NADPH. A phosphate a pathway divided into oxidative and non-oxidative phase, as you can see in this slide. Gluconeogenesis is a process to convert pyruva into glucose to accommodate energy storage in the form of a glycogen. Gluconeogenesis is not glycolysis occur in reverse because this mechanism and enzyme in pop are not exactly the same. Gluconeogenesis is the process by which glycogen, the primary carbohydrate stored in the liver and muscle cell is broken down into glucose. The key enzyme for gluconeogenesis are glycogen phosphate. I'm sorry, glycogen phosphorylase, glycogen phosphorylase 
will decleave the alpha 1,4 glucidic bond of the terminal glucose residue at the non-reducing end of uh, glycogen. Now let us see a uh, glycogenolysis uh, pathway. Glycogen degradation occurs into two different pathways depending on location. Concerning a skeletal muscle, a glycogen degradation leads to glucose 1-phosphate and muscle usage, perceived as for, for contraction. Glycogenolysis skeletal muscle occur under condition of a physical activity. On the other hand, the liver required glucose 6 phosphate to deposporylate glucose and export glucose outside the cell. The overall reaction for the first step is a glycogen plus phosphor an organic compared to a glycogen minus one a residue plus glucose one phosphate. Here a glycogen phosphorylate clip the bone at the one position by substitution of phosphoryl group. It breaks down glucose polymer at alpha 1 for linkage until 4 link a glucose are left on the brain. However, there are exceptions. There are three highly exergonic steps Step 1, 3, and 10. These are also regulatory steps which include the enzyme hexokinase, phosphofructokinase, and pyruvatokinase. Uh, now let us uh, move to hormonal regulation. Blood glucose source can be found by absorbing a glucose from D and glucogenolysis of liver glycogen or a synthesis of glucose from other substances by gluconeogenesis. Then let us see. The slide. In this slide, we can see the one interesting question: Why glucose concentration should be regulated? Normal blood glucose concentration is about 140 milligram per deciliter. This is a random. And for testing a person, it's about a 70 to 99 milligram per deciliter. If slightly variation of this normal level lead to hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, thus the level of glucose should be regulated using several chemical messengers. Let us see in this slide. In the upper side, we call that one as a hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia, it means that the blood concentration is less than, than normal. Hyperglycemia is the condition of the person 
in that case concentration of words in his or her blood is higher than normal then let's see what kind of function of this hormone for example a insulin this insulin secreted by the beta cell of pancreas carries various anabolic function insulin elevated blood glucose level uh, trigger the insulin secretion and also work to reduce blood glucose by increasing the glucose uptake by the cell using GLAD4. And let's move to uh, glucagon. Glucagon secreted by the alpha cell of a pancreas is the antagonist of insulin. A glucagon is secreted when there is fall in blood glucose level from normal range and this glucagon uh, trigger glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis and ketone body synthesis in the liver let's see the figure or diagram in the right side this is the mechanism of uh, releasing of uh, glucagon etc then let's move uh, to epinephrine or adrenaline this epinephrine produced in brain act as neurotransmitter and this uh, hormone also antagonist of insulin release when blood glucose level is low then what is the mechanism of this uh, glucogen? Glycogen metabolism is carefully regulated to avoid wasting energy. Both synthesis and degradation are controlled through a complex mechanism involving insulin, glucagon, and epinephrine, as well as allosteric. Uh, regulation. This is the end of our discussion for carbohydrate metabolism. Thank you so much for your attention. If you do have any question, just inform me. I'll be happy to answer your question. just right after this class. Thank you so much.